Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys more info on Sprint's Voice over LTE and how it is going to work for Sprint customers. So as you can tell by this article, we knew earlier in the year that Sprint was expected to deploy Voice over LTE starting this fall. Well, sometime in September, Sprint is going to light up Voice over LTE in 50 of their big markets, which most of you can guess are all the, the major markets, uh, the bigger, bigger cities. So now how it is going to work is it is going to be on an opt in basis. So if you're probably going to get a notification, maybe even an email saying that voice over LTE is now live in your market and you can opt in to use the voice over LTE or you can choose to keep the one X HD voice. Now keep in mind the HD voice is only from Sprint customer. The Sprint customer, if you call a Verizon customer, the HD voice calling won't work. Now one thing that I do want to point out, as I always kept it honest on this channel with you guys, if you do opt in to use the voice over LTE, expect a lot of issues. Block calls, drop calls, choppy calls, you know, all of that and then some. At the beginning, Sprint's voice over LTE network is going to be reconfigured. It is always going to be adjusted on the software side. So be expecting a lot of issues as, you know, it's not going to be as good as AT&T's or Verizon's as Sprint does not have a fallback. So if you're, if you know of an area in your, in your area that drops to 3G, Let's say you were on a voice over LTE call and you get to that area, your call is going to drop. With uh, AT&T, what I noticed when I had them, if I was on the voice over LTE call and it dropped to HSPA plus, that call will, would remain the same. There would nothing drop, n no voice distortion, nothing. It would remain on the voice over LTE call. So just keep that in mind as you're opting into the voice over LTE some areas are going to be good for sprint that was sprint's main concern while they waited so long to launch this voice of lt because they wanted their voice calling to be as good as their 1x hd voice well now they believe they can get pretty close to that that's what the uh, calling plus feature was it was sort of a beta for the voice over lte launch but now that we know it is going to launch on an opt-in basis um, I want to say you can also opt out of it so say you opt in in your area and you're like ah you know what I'm dropping too many calls too many choppy calls too many block calls let me go ahead and opt out and use the one X um, I'm gonna say you may be able to do so so I, I wanted to just uh, give you guys this info and uh, one more thing also currently as Sprint is reconfiguring the network making some changes I'm already getting emails of people saying that they have noticed a lot more blocked or drop calls with a good signal. Maybe they're refarming spectrum in the lead up to voice of LTE. So they're not refarming the spectrum. Um, they re they already did most of their refarming on band 25 to add more capacity to it for the voice of LTE. But in some instances, I've heard that there are reconfiguring the network, which could cause these issues as they're fine tuning for the voice over LTE launch. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have experienced any of these issues as a Sprint customer. Maybe you have already seen voice over LTE. Um, it, it has been testing in some areas, some towers. So let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. There's lots more content coming. We're getting closer to the August 15th on carrier move. So be on the lookout for that video and lots, lots more other content. I'm going to do a lot of research today. So this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.